Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching all the beer, no idea. I'm Baz, just get myself comfy for you. Now, we have got something different now. Uh, oh, what's it been for months on end now? It's been IPAs, it's been lagers, it's been traditional ales, it's been mad beer videos, it's been shandies, it's been 0% stuff, it's been it's been a lot of the same sort of stuff, let's be totally honest. But I've been looking at this bottle for quite a while now. It's been a long time. It feels like it's been a long time since I've done a Belgian beer review. But we got one coming up now. I've tried to avoid it for a couple of days because it's one of them that I would sort of have sort of a bit later on in the night. I've been a bit cream crackered lately. Uh, and I haven't wanted think, you know, like this really i haven't wanted anything like this sort of late on because we all know the strength of them but this time i've gone for it so let's shut the hell up what we've got coming up now is one that jesus i'm trying to think where i picked up from waitrose i think i think i picked up from waitrose a long 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 time ago uh in chester but i could be wrong and we've got a bottle of saint foulien blonde uh coming in a 330 mil bottle and a whopping seven and a half percent. Now, I love a Belgian beer. It seems like an age since I've done them. The bottle's a beautiful shape, isn't it? I do like that. Great branding, real old traditional stuff. St. Foulian bottle cap. I don't know if we can get that. That's it, I have to suss out where the camera is. Looks really cool. So uh, you can't have one of these beers and not have the old St. Foulian chalice. So let's get this beer out. Get it into a glass, see what we get, and it'll be quite interesting to see if I pick the alcohol up so much because it's been a long time. You know, the Belgian beers are strong. I'm gonna have to be careful of this as well because I wouldn't be surprised if this shoots it bolt. Ah, oh, it's good, it's been good to me, it's been sensible. It's been sensible. Now I do do love a good blonde ale, I do love a good Belgium ale as well. Always lively, generally, these beers are. Thankfully, this one didn't decide it was going to go wild. Look at this beer, it looks fantastic already. Give it a shake, hopefully get all the yeasty goodness out the bottom and the sediment. So, beer in a glass. That looks absolutely beautiful, and that glass just does it justice. A lovely, hazy, it's almost dare I say, IPA looking, isn't it? Uh, hazy sort of amber colour. Plenty of carbonation I can see coming up from the bottom of the glass. A finger and a half of lovely compact fluffy white head. It looks beautiful. So let's give her a swirl and see what we get on the nose. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. There's almost... You've got that Belgium yeastiness in there, but it's got a lovely sweetness to it. It doesn't seem harsh. It feels, it on the nose, it feels all round, it, very rounded, very smooth. I'm getting, I'm getting that yeasty thing, banana, a sort of banana caramel thing going on. A little bit of fruitiness. Just an inkling. Yeah, it smells beautiful, it really does. So without further ado, let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Come on, do me justice. Mm. Mm. Surprisingly, very nice, decent body. The carbonation bubbles in there. Lovely and small, ping in your mouth. Give it a lovely feel. It's smooth. Well, I say smooth. Smooth isn't the right word. Uh, with all that carbonation in there, it's pinging around your mouth. So smooth's not quite the right word, but with that lovely fluffy head, it's, it's not tearing your, tearing your mouth apart but it's smooth in a different kind of way. It's almost like eating an arrow <laughs> in, a, in a sense, you know, then bubbles in an arrow, it's just like that. And that's the sort of, you get that bubbly sort of mouthfeel and it's beautiful. 
Taste-wise, a little bit surprised. Expected more sort of banana caramel thing coming through. For me, not really getting that. Although I was getting it on the nose. For me, very fruity, floral, yeasty, big honey kind of feel to this. Big honey notes in there for me. Quite sticky. And leaves your mouth very dry, I would say. You know, I've wiped my lips there, but my mouth is dry again. It's screaming out for another mouthful, which at seven and a half percent is quite dangerous. Are you getting that seven and a half percent? No, you're not getting that at all. Uh, you can tell it's stronger. You can tell it's a bit more boozier, but there's no sort of alcohol burn. It's almost the nearest kind of impression I could give to someone that maybe doesn't drink like Belgian blondes would be would be like drinking a strong cider. Uh, sometimes you get cider sort of seven eight percent. You get that kind of inkling of booziness, not burn or nothing, but you just get that feeling of a booziness. But this some fully on blonde. Uh, Tell a lie, it wasn't Waitrose. Tell a lie, it wasn't Waitrose. It's just come to me now. Some Fooly and Blonde I picked up from Marks and Spencers. I got it from all my bloody Sun Life Over 50s life insurance plan thing. I had all them vouchers, didn't I? I picked it up from there. I saw it in there, that's where I got it from. And I think £2.50 or £3. So an absolute steal, even at three quid. That's the steal for the sort of beer you're getting. So for me, St. Fulion Blonde coming in at 7.5% is a winner. That's a decent beer. Uh, if you like your Belgian beers and you know what to expect from a Belgian, a Belgian ale, uh, you'll like this. If you're a typical lager drinker, this might not be your thing. I would suggest uh, anyone that's thinking of getting into Belgium sort of ales, Start off with a Leffe. Uh, a Leffe Blonde would, would give you some idea what to expect. Obviously, you know, it, it's not just Leffe and that's the taste. Excuse me. But that will give you some idea what to expect. And if you do like it, if you do like the Leffe, give this a go. And if you like Belgian Blondes anyway, triples, quads, doubles, give it a go. So for me, some Fouli on Blonde gets a big thumbs up. Uh, cracking beer, cracking beer. Uh, lovely little nightcap now for me, that'll be before I go to bed. If you've had this before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment and uh, tell me your views on it. Also feel free to subscribe as well. Uh, subscribing is free, it won't cost you nothing. Just click that button and uh, you'll, you'll be subscribed and you'll be able to see any videos that I release. So. Uh, Thank you all for watching. I've rambled on, talked a load of rubbish. This is what happens when you're tired. I'll leave you in peace and I'll see you again on another beer review. Cheers.